Hey guys, Ryan Dossie here, and thank you for checking out this video. As you can see, our setup is a little bit different. I want to talk to you in today's video about how the numbers you're seeing on shows like HGTV really aren't accurate, and I want to do that by completing a series that I kind of let fall off the map earlier, where we were walking you through how to flip a house step by step. So a ton has changed since I started that video. I moved from San Diego to Florida. My wife had a baby. We've got a new videographer who's behind the camera right now, Mike, who moved all the way out from Baltimore down to Florida with me. So I appreciate your patience, but I think this is gonna be super helpful. Just kind of setting proper expectations for anybody that wants to flip houses. So if you've seen a show like an HGTV show, what you normally see is like purchase price, rehab, and then profit. Um, there's a lot more that goes into that. So I wanna just walk you through kind of the quick and dirty numbers on this deal to show you where all of the money went. Now, this house, we initially bought it for $126,000 and we sold it for $207,000. So. Wow, you know, decent amount of margin. Our rehab on this property cost right at $35,696, about 35 grand. However, there's all of these miscellaneous costs that new fix and flippers and kind of the reality TV shows don't highlight or don't take into account. So right off the bat, we had to pay $6,500 in realtor commissions that came out of that profit. We had another $2,652 in closing costs, so title work, insurance policies, things of that nature. We had $393 in utilities, which brings us to $46,270 in expenses. So what started out as a $35,000 remodel ended up being almost 11 grand more. Now, the other thing we have to take into account there is the cost of our private money. So we pay our private lenders eight to 9% interest on a two year renewable term. So we're not getting hit with points or anything of that nature, but on this loan, we did pay right at 5,600 bucks in fees to our private lender for the privilege of borrowing their money to do this deal. So all in all, this property that we bought for 126 and sold for 207, our net to us at title, this deal just closed last Friday, was 22,121 bucks. So if you went into this deal thinking, hey, there's not gonna be any other extra costs, you would have counted on making nearly 40. In fact, if you go back and watch my previous videos, I believe I said we would make mid to high 30s, but it was all said and done, we netted right at 22 grand. Now, I'm not upset that was over the course of six months. This is a property I've never seen in a market that I live 2,000 miles away from, but make sure when you start out on a project like this, you are setting proper expectations. That way you don't end up disappointed at the closing table. So on this particular property in this invoice that I'm highlighting, this is strictly just labor. We actually provided the materials with this particular sub. So a little bit of a different setup, but it was done in six phases. Initially, it was kind of demo and tear out, kind of removing old doors, hardware, uh, removing bushes in the front that were overgrown. We had some trees that were against the chimney that had to come out. We had to bring in topsoil and kind of regrade the lawn. Uh, phase two was framing and plumbing. So you remember we walled in that loft to add value by creating a fourth bedroom. Had to install uh, new sinks in the bathrooms as well as do some things like recog vanities, tubs, things of that nature. Phase three was kind of the drywall um, paint exterior, which you can kind of pause and read through all this if you want. I'm not gonna go through it all item by item. And phase four was the electrical. We did kind of upgrade some of the fixtures and things to kind of that brushed nickel. On the flooring and trim, we did LVP, as well as new carpet upstairs and paint. Um, you can see when you're doing these bids, they need to be kind of detailed. So things like applying trim and quarter round. And then lastly, it was reinstalling some of the things we removed, hardware, door hinge kits, things of that nature. 
One thing that actually came up on this project that we hadn't expected at all was there was some stuff on the roof that we had to get taken care of. And there was also an old concrete pad that we had to have demoed, hauled out. We had to bring in more topsoil level, put down a new pad and build a deck. It was like three grand that we hadn't accounted for. So that right there was a 10% overrun on our initial budget. All in all though, I'm really not upset about how this project turned out. I don't ever think it's a bad day when you've turned a profit. We made 22 grand on this deal right at over the course of six months. So not a bad return for a property that I've never seen, never visited, that's 2,000 plus miles away from my home. I appreciate you guys taking the time to check out this video, and I do appreciate your understanding in the fact that the rollout of this thing got a little bit wonky on that previous series. When I started it, I didn't quite know what 2020 uh, had in store for us, as I'm sure you did not either. Be sure to like and subscribe, especially if you found this content helpful. I'll talk to you next time.